Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about fraction multiplication and fraction division. First up, we're going to be talking about multiplication. So I have two different fractions here represented by A over B times C over D. Whenever I am multiplying fractions, all I am doing is going straight across multiplying the numerators and then multiplying the denominators on the bottom. I can go ahead and rewrite this right next to each other. I don't even have to include the multiplication sign. A lot of times you're going to see variables or sometimes numbers written right next to each other and your job is to multiply them. So we can write it as A times C over B, D. Go ahead and pause here. Please write this down and put this in your notebooks. Okay, we now have an example where we're gonna be multiplying three eighths times four sevenths. Remember, whenever we're multiplying fractions, all we have to do is we multiply straight across. In our numerator, we're multiplying three times four. In our denominator, we're multiplying eight times seven. Therefore, our fraction is going to equal 12 over 56. Now, what I want to talk about here is how to find what's called an equivalent fraction, but going the other way. Remember thinking back to finding common denominators when we multiplied a whole by our fraction to create an equivalent fraction? Now we're going to go, be going backwards. This is called reducing our fraction. And we do that by dividing by one whole. So I'm going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. In this case, I know that both 12 and 56 are divisible by four. Note, remember, they have to be the same number on the top and the bottom to divide by. And I know that 12 divided by four is three, and 56 divided by four is 14. Therefore, our fractions 3 eighths times 4 sevenths is equal to 3 fourteenths. Okay guys, next up we're going to go ahead and talk about dividing of fractions. We have two fractions here, A over B divided by C over D. Whenever we are dividing two fractions together, we are going to use what I like to call the keep change flip rule. And that means that we are going to keep our first fraction. It stays as A over B. We are going to change the sign from a division to a multiplication. And then we're going to take the reciprocal or flip our second fraction over on its head. We keep, we change, we flip. Keep, change, flip. Go ahead, pause here, and write this in your notebook. Let's jump into our example here. We are having a fraction 2 over 7 divided by 4 over 5. So using our keep, change, flip rule, we're going to keep our first fraction, 2 over 7. We're going to change that division sign into a multiplication sign, and then we're going to flip this section, second fraction here we're going to flip it over. Four-fifths became five-fourths. And now, just like we talked about earlier in the video, we're just going to go ahead and multiply our fractions together. Two times five is ten over seven times four, which is twenty-eight. And I know that I can definitely reduce this fraction down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both our numerator and our denominator by two. We're creating that equivalent fraction. 10 divided by two is five, and 28 divided by two is 14. I know that I can't go any further here because there's no common multiples besides one that go into both five and 14. So I know that I am done and that my result of two over seven divided by four over five is equal to five over 14.